Previously, we framed up an installed subfloor on the small 2x8 section of foundation right outside of the safe room. One, two, three, up. Okay, good. One, two, three, up. Okay, good. In order to connect the two builds, we had to frame up a wall running up the side of the existing A-frame house. This allowed us to install the last handful of rafters and to start focusing on completing the sheathing. We're going to be hanging off that side of the ridge beam. I'm going to get up there, I'm going to screw it into the ridge beam itself, and hopefully we can hold it together and that can come through and start screwing the block in. While we have been heavily focused on pushing the build forward, we've also been keeping a close eye on the livestock and actively hunting the predator. The real question of the day is, will it start? No. That's not going to start. And yeah, a lot of charge. Like, they're going to pick this thing up and the battery's shot. Okay? I'm going to push it through. We'll get it started. It's going to work. But when it goes back, they're about a new battery. It's going to happen. Yeah. Let's see if we can jump it. We're gonna cut a six by six opening the line set and work around it. We don't want to remove the line set now. It's not necessary. We'll do it when we get the HVAC in the back of the house. This is the moment. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, this I'm is good. The, I'm good in my eye. It's and girl. the moment where we can no longer get into the house well, from this yeah. side. Yeah. Yeah. Watch the door here, huh? <laughs> no. What's going on? You could have dropped yours down. Okay. You gotta go up a little. Push it. Take the wall. Is that worthy of saying like a glove or no? Just about. If only it weren't <laughs> for this nail pop you have. <laughs> so you know, that measurement was perfection. It's not though. It's squiggly. And you got a nail pop that's kicking you out. It's close, Josh, but no cigar. Can't let your head get too big. <laughs> <laughs> I, I call this one a win, 100%. I didn't realize it was a nine foot one. No, those are all nine footers, aren't they? Yeah. Is this the last full sheet? Maybe. Maybe one and a half. My, my corner's on. Can you right. rotate yours? I think we need to slide down your way, right? We're almost done sheathing the front side. We have two relatively small pieces to go. The last one we're putting up is going to be a triangle. But before we do that, I still got a couple more studs I need to put in to tie that wall together with the other side of the A-frame. I'm excited. It's looking good. I can't wait to get that done to go out front and take a peek at it. It's going to look complete. Green, but complete. Not complete enough yet. Still got signing going on, but it's going to look so much better. I got it. All right, that was good. We used to think that ridge cap was high. Wait till we try our hand at this one. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs>
man, that's good. That thing's gonna fit. I can mark it and cut it and use it as a mock cut though. Alright, I'll come up to uh Alright, cool. Move my hands a little. Let me hold that side up there. I think I got this side. Let me go, okay? Okay. I got cool. it? Yeah. Okay. This side's on. We should just do a little slide it down. Maybe. I'll wait for you. My hand's going to go so far though, okay? I know. That's why I'm a little nervous about it. I don't want it to pop out. Because we're going to have to hold on before right. you. Just hold right there, okay? I'm going to get my ladder and just go over top and hold it. Okay. okay. What are we hitting? Home. Let me kick my side in a little bit. There you go. This is going to be tough. I know. But you. Good job. Okay, we're on. You got done, girl. You look good. Now we're going to feed, overhanging and feed, and close the entire thing up. I feel like socks are the ultimate everyone gift that you just cannot go wrong with. Whether it's your mom, your dad, your brother, your coworkers, your kids, who doesn't love cozy socks? And not just socks that feel good, but socks from a company that does good. Bombas is the sponsor of today's video and they make the top three most requested clothing items in homeless shelters. Socks, underwear, t-shirts, and they donate an item with every single purchase. Over 140 million essential clothing items have been donated. What I love most about Bombas is that not not only do they give back to the community, but they keep us cozy all day long. Ah, that's it. That's all I got. <laughs> He's been working on the stretching. <laughs> Bomba's new holiday drop is made up of the plushiest, softest, most absurdly comfortable essentials for the season, including merino wool, cashmere merino blend vintage rib socks, thick, elegant ribbed sweaters for my feet. And very plush slippers. I love them. If I could wear them on the job site, I would, but she won't let me. <laughs> there is no better time than now to embrace cozy season. New customers get 20% off their first purchase. Just go to bombas.com com slash WWOG and use code WWOG20 at checkout. For quite a while now, we have been tracking the predator who killed several of our sheep, including Ellie's beloved Lily. Through the course of this, we have learned his schedule. We know roughly when he is coming, roughly how often he is coming, the window time period in which he is showing up, and we are now actively hunting him. And I know some people are going to have a hard time understanding how this works because after all, he is just a predator doing what is natural to him. And at the same time, we are just farmers doing what is natural to us so yes we are working to take him out and we're hopeful that tonight is going to be that night It's gonna be delicious. The house is gonna smell so good. Oh yeah. I love bread. Me too. <laughs> just nice and slowly, we'll just put a little bit in at a time. Sounds like we're making a cake, but we're actually not. <laughs> stir, stir, stir. I'm a chef. You are a chef. <laughs> we're gonna cover it so it can rise. There you go. Minerals real quick. Of course. In an hour we'll come back. 
We're still working on winter prep around here and one of the things we do this time of year, every year, is change the oil on the generator. We typically don't use a generator very often during spring and summertime. This time of year coming up with all the snow and overcast days. And keep in mind guys, we are on solar, we're off grid. There's no power company powering our house, it's all by the panels. That's why we have a generator. All right, so we're on auto right now. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off so it doesn't kick on, switch to off. I also have an auxiliary shutdown so it didn't turn on, turn that off. Let's go ahead and open it up, take the oil out, put new oil in, and we'll start it real quick, get the oil flowing through. The thing about this thing, the drain this oil, it takes forever. So slow. Go ahead and pull that one to the side, and okay. we'll start with this one first. Okay. I love cooking. Okay, you ready? Yes. How's it going? Good. Good, getting big? Mm hmm When it's probably like four of your fifths long, it's probably ready. Otherwise, yeah, that's four times. Okay, so okay. it's probably just about good. You let me know. Ellie and I are working on a little bit of French bread. Now I am a no bread baker by any stretch of the imagination, but Ellie and I have fun dabbling and putting together bread from time to time. And this recipe for French bread is just so easy. It's just a handful of ingredients, yeast, water, salt, flour. We mix it all up, let it rise. And by the time dinner rolls around, we have something really delicious and that we made together to pair with some pasta, some soup, anything during these cooler months. Yeah, not too bad. Not too bad at all. I'm gonna fill the oil filter up. I'm gonna get oil underneath the gasket. Like that. Back it up. All right, that's good. I'm gonna screw it on. There you go. All right. That's good. Right there. This takes like 20 minutes for it to fully drain out. But the plus side of having this generator, it's the old saying, uh, one is none, two is one. So we have solar coming in, which feeds the house, powers the house, and this is the backup for it. And it's great because we haven't, since we had this entire setup, we've never gone a day without power. There's been w years that our neighbors are without power for a week, week and a half with nasty snowstorms coming through, and we keep on bumping with no issue. So it's a good feeling. Get back up. All right, good. It pulls out of the way. So once I get done filling it up and we're good with the amount of oil in there, I'm gonna close it up. I'll check the air filter real quick, make sure it's good. If it's not, we'll replace it. And then uh, we'll start her up. All right, filter. She is good. And there's gunk down there, I gotta clean out though. All right, we're in good shape. Put it back in. It up. Just fire it up. How the generator works is not gasoline powered, it's propane powered. We have a thousand pound propane tank out here and it kicks on automatically like it is right now when uh, the battery gets discharged to a certain percentage. It kicks on, it stays on, it runs, recharges the battery. Once we get the battery to a specific charge, the generator will turn off. We're back on battery power with the solar panels. We let the dough rise for an hour and then we rolled it out into loaves and let it rise for a second time for just about 30 minutes. Now we're gonna go through, we're gonna cut some slashes in the top of each of the loaves, brush it with some egg, and then we're going to let it bake for about 45 minutes and then it will almost be ready. Now the hardest part is going to be not cutting into it and eating it until it's cool. <laughs> That looks so good. I'm definitely taking a piece of this. What we should do is get a 10 foot piece of 2x12, we'll cut the angle on it, we're going to put two pieces of blocking on it to keep it light, to make it more manageable for us, and once we do get it up, we'll go from there. I think we're going to have to use the rest of this board for blocking after we cut it. That's fine. This part's cracked. Alright. Is it heavy? 
Now, I think if I start working this out of the loft and getting the basket in the back end of this, we'll put it up and lag it in. So tight, man. So tight. Get this off. I'm gonna go up there, get on that ladder, and work it from the top down to you. And you're gonna be down here grabbing it and holding it in place. Because we're gonna be hanging off that side of the ridge beam. And I'm gonna get up there, I'm gonna screw it into the ridge beam itself, and hopefully we can hold it together and that can come through and start screwing the blocking in. Once that top blocking's locked into place, it's not gonna go anywhere. Alright. You okay? Yeah, I'm good. Alright, you want me to lift it over? Yeah, go over one a little bit. Got it. Alright, sit down there. Hurry. Now go on the other side. I'm a little bit nervous. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. You're good. You ready? Yeah, three, two, one, up. Alright, we're gonna keep the spot Three, two, one, up. Oh. And keep mine. You drop your side. Um, you with the, you need to. You be yeah. okay. Alright, we've got some more. And you want it flush with this two by twelve, right? Depends. Yeah. Are you yeah. trying to push me down? Yeah, Sam. So okay. I gotta measure this real quick to match mine. Uh, so where's 20 feet take me to? That's 19. Nah. Nah, I gotta do two more pieces on it. Definitely 20 feet's gonna be this short. So, to make it easy, let's do a 10 and a 13 foot piece. That'll be clean enough. We had a change of plans. We're going for it. We're going 20 feet deep. Woo! <laughs> One, two, three, push. One. Two, three, push. Three, two, one, push. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Are we going over? Yeah. realized how much of a difference an overhang makes? Um, I was uh, 37 <laughs> years old today. <laughs> <laughs> oh. You're 51. <laughs> Gap on the uh, block side. Do you want this touch the block? Oops. Okay. All the way up to here? Yeah. Okay. Put it down first. Yeah. Let it sit. Alright. You're Hold. gonna need to come my way a little when, when you can. Yeah. Put it down. We, we gotta space that gap in there too though. Good. How's it going? Good. Coming over. We've made it up the outer edge of the roof. We're gonna bring the sheathing up and across, and that's it for the entire 1812 pitch roof on this entire house, and this portion is completed. Once this side's done, we can go ahead and get this side of the shed roof wall sheathed, get the overhang on, and get everything else covered up, and then whew, we're almost dried in. <laughs> Not quite, but we're almost there. Almost. Right there.
my side is not up high enough. You got a few feet put out, a couple of straight cold pieces, and an angle cut. I'll cut this one. All right. Let's put them up. Yeah. Grab it. Good. I got it. Yep. Halfway through. The very last one. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Put it on top grow, nail it in place. Down my way? Yep. That's not good. Okay. Just push down, that's down. We are on our last and final overhang of the house. Just yeah? this side of the house. This side of the house. <laughs> it's a good feeling though. <laughs> We're almost at our last and final Once we overhang. fix a mistake on the other side of the house, yes. we'll have two more overhangs over there. But for now, we're good. That's great. But don't we have an overhang right there too? Where? On the front. Oh. Not like that. They're all going <laughs> to, not like, no. Technically, we've got to work a little bit there, but no, no. You're mistaken. Okay, good. So. It's a good feeling, yeah? Yeah. We're almost there. 20 foot board for the goal. Yes. I would like to thank my wife. She's been an amazing partner, an amazing apprentice. Okay. She moved up to uh, Master Carpenter last week, you know. But the real MVP is Milwaukee Tools. Yes. <laughs> yes. Because without Milwaukee Tools, we wouldn't be this far. Not sponsored. Not sponsored. Just impressed. And DeWalt. Just don't like you guys. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna say it. <laughs> Are you ready? Yeah. Go ahead. Dark girl. Good. Good. One sheet left. So yeah. close. So close. One sheet, you know, just one sheet. <laughs> we did a good job. Really ridiculous. <laughs> There's always tomorrow. There's always tomorrow. What up? Yeah. Up. How you looking? Pretty good. You good? 